Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam. As you guys can see by the title down here, I will be doing a makeup declutter part two. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you what palettes I am decluttering. Please excuse my no makeup face. I am just in a cleaning mode and I just really wanted to film this for you guys. I wanted to use this time in self-isolating to just really deep clean my house and deep clean just makeup and things that I don't really use or haven't used in a long time and I wanted to show you my process. So before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe in the little button down there and if you want to know what palettes I ended up decluttering, then just keep on watching. I'm going to move on to these eyeshadows right here. And again, I'm going to be putting aside the ones that I'm going to be giving away or throwing away because they're things that are really, like, old. So this is a Milani um, Stellar Lights Rose Glow, like, highlighting palette, which I don't know why I did not use this before. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's so pretty. So I'm definitely going to keep that one. The beauty creations, I went to a um, class with a guy I followed on Instagram and we got a bunch of like these beauty creations like palettes um, and I have the Splash of Hues Volume 1. I, to be honest, like um, these palettes were not as pigmented and they were very like blotchy when I try to use them. So that's why like I'm not going to be using those. So I'm going to put them aside. I have the Boxum Dolly's Wild Sight Eyeshadow Palette. Um, these pal the, these eyeshadows are really good. I use them literally once or twice, so I'm definitely gonna give it in giving this one to my mom because I know that those are colors that she would use. This is the Smashbox Full Exposure. Super cool tones. I have, I don't know. I I'm thinking I'm gonna give it to my sister because these are shades that she would use, but like. Not for me, I'm very a warm tone or colorful eyeshadow gal, so I'm going to be passing this one along. I'm definitely keeping my BH Cosmetics um, blush palette because this is one of my favorites ever. And I had no idea where I had left it. This is actually the Jaclyn Hill um, favorite eyeshadows palette, but to be honest, I used it once or twice again and I didn't use it again, so I'm not going to be, I don't know, I think I'm going to pass it along. Um, another Morphe palette. This is a 35OS palette and these are all shimmers. I'm not a lid shimmer person anymore. Like I like pigments or glitters. This is the Vice Urban Decay palette. I don't even know why I bought this. <laughs> um, this is the palette right here. It has really beautiful shades, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use it. I have a couple more of those um, Beauty Creations palettes. So this is a blush palette, which I'll be passing along. And then I have a highlight and contour, which is really handy. So I'm going to be passing that one along as well. I have a Trend Beauty Rose Gold Glitter palette. Pretty, but not up my alley to be honest. So I'm going to be see. I'm going to see if somebody else wants it. I have Beauty Creations Seduce Me palette. Pretty, but again, not my kind of vibe. I have this LA Girl Wonder and Lust um, eyeshadow palette. Again, there's literally two matte shades in this palette, so not a lot of use that I can give. I don't use shimmery shades. Next, I have um, this um, e.l.f. shimmers um, palette, but again, I don't use shimmers, so I'm not going to give it you so I'll see if somebody wants it. Next I have a nude eyeshadow palette from um, The Bomb Nude Dude Volume 2. Again, they're actually, now that I see this, they're like super small pants. <laughs> um, I'm going to be passing it along. I think I actually never use this palette. Like it's literally brand new. Next, I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills self-made palette. There's only literally like one matte shade right here. So I'm going to be passing this one along. I'm not going to be using it. I have a Tempting Trend Beauty palette, which this, these colors are right up my alley. But like I have so many eyeshadow palettes already that have these shades. So I'm going to see if my family wants it because they can definitely get use out of that one. This one is the Lorac Pro. It's the second one. Um... I did give a lot of use to this palette. I love that it's super, like, slim, and it's very easy to travel with. Um, but I, again, 
I already have other shadows like this. Now we're going to be moving into this big box of eyeshadow palettes that I don't really use. Okay, so the first palette I have here, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. With this palette, there was a lot of fallout, and I had so much trouble blending the shadows. And, I mean, the shadows themselves feel so buttery, but when I actually went and actually, like, uh, try to, like, blend them and create a look with them, it's just, it was so hard for me. Um, I'm gonna keep it because, obviously, it's Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I do want to give it another try, so this one I'm definitely gonna be keeping, so I'm gonna be keeping it right here next I have the Kathleen lights um, and Morphe collaboration and as you guys can see I really did use a lot um, this palette it was one of my favorite palettes ever this green right here was so pretty um, but I mean I have other I have other palettes that I can definitely use for these colors so I'm gonna put it over there because I will be giving it to my um, family members and I have this Anastasia Beverly Hills artist palette I think this was actually the first palette I bought from Anastasia and as you guys can see it's like pretty new I just I think I just used the yellow one um, once or twice for a look but the other shadows are literally new and I don't know it's just it's a nice palette but again I'm not gonna use it um, I have other palettes there's a lot of shimmers that I'm not gonna be using so i'm just gonna give it to my family members next i have the um these are the morphe palettes this is the 25b and then the 25a i believe i bought them i bought these in like a bundle when they first came out and um i really like them so this so these ones right here i bought them in a little bundle um, when they first came out and I really like there's one that's more cool tones So these are the palettes right here. This one is more like my vibe. It has a lot of uh, warm tones This one is more of a cool tone. Um, it has more like purpley shades and um, I think I this one I used it way less. So this one I'm gonna Give it away and then I'm gonna be keeping this one. I have the beauty creations Anna palette again this one I got it from a um, makeup class that I went to and this is a very colorful uh, palette as you guys can see I did use it to create a very colorful look uh, but again it was very uh, like it was very patchy when I tried to blend it um, and I didn't quite enjoy like I was spending a lot of time trying to blend it and it wasn't blending that well so this one I'm definitely gonna be giving away and then I have a bunch of glitters that I first bought I actually have like a haul I did on my channel and I, these I'm gonna give away because I have so many glitters to be honest and I haven't like I don't I don't reach out for these glitters right here and um, so I'm gonna be giving them away I'm gonna see if my family members want them my niece wants them I have a post notes <laughs> then I have this Too Faced peanut butter and jelly palette I remember when this I saw this one at Ulta and I was like oh my god that is such a cute palette and then, like, looking at it, I'm like, the packaging really got me. Like, these shades, I'm pretty sure I have them in another palette. And I used it, I think, once with this in this shade. Like, that's it. So, I'm definitely gonna be giving away. So, I have two of the Urban Decay. I have the Naked uh, palette, which is the first one they came out with. And I bought this one at Disneyland when I was with two of my best friends. We went to Disneyland, and this was the first the first i think yeah i think this one was the first um high-end palette that i ever bought and as you guys can see i didn't use it a lot but this one i'm definitely going to keep because it is a like it brings me back to that memory and it's one of my favorite memories that day was amazing at disneyland and then this one is a naked three palette this one i'm definitely going to be giving away there's some shadows that are like falling off because of the glue but I know that my sister will fall in love with these shadows so I'm definitely gonna be giving this away to her and then I have the two uh, Too Faced chocolate bar palettes I have the semi sweet and the chocolate bar palette and the chocolate bar is um it, there's a mixture of like cool tones and warm tones this is the palette right there um, again colors that I'm not gonna be like using in smells so good but I'm definitely gonna be giving it away because I just I don't see myself using it 
Although I do want to keep it, like I want to hoard it forever, but I don't know. I'm not going to use it. And then I have the semi-sweet chocolate palette again. It's really pretty, but I'm not going to be using it. And with this, like, self-quarantine, like, I have really noticed, like, I'm not using a lot of makeup that I have, like, stored. And I just, there's no point of me, like, just keeping it. I have three of, um, Tarte palettes right here. I love the, um, packaging. And these palettes, I do find a use for them. I, this is this will be like the only like purpley palette that I will be keeping. But that blush is one of my favorite blushes, and it's so pretty. So this one I'm definitely keeping. This is uh, Tartlet by Tarte, and this is that one right there. Again, this is more like cool tone, so I'm definitely gonna be giving this one away because I know that I'm not a cool tone person. There's no point of me like keeping this one. And then I have the Tartlet in Bloom, which ugh, this one was one of my favorite palettes. Again, more cool tone, but it does have a little bit of warmth there. So this one, it's so pretty. This one for the inner corner, my god, it's so pretty. So this one I am keeping. And then I have a Morphe blush palette which I am definitely going to be keeping. I love palettes with blushes. This is the Urban Decay Electric Palette, and I'm definitely keeping this one. Um, actually, my husband gave this to me for a birthday. I don't remember when, like which birthday, but he gave this to me for my birthday, I'm pretty sure, or Christmas, one of those two, but he gave this to me. These are the shadows in there. Um, one of my favorite palettes. I remember I was so excited to get this palette. It's so cool. The colors are so out there. Um, but obviously, definitely keeping that one. I have a BH Cosmetics Galaxy Chic. Chic? Um, 18 color baked eyeshadow palette. I was so excited when I ordered it online. But like, look at those colors. And the, um, the pigmentation is really pretty. And like, there's definitely payoff with this shimmers but again i'm not like i'm moving away from using shimmers pretty sure my niece will gonna is gonna have a blast with these shades i'm gonna be giving this one to her i have a buxom um i actually bought this one and actually picked the shades that are in here so these are the colors for this palette right here definitely more of a cool tone right here that brown is an amazing brown um so i'm definitely gonna be keeping this one i really like the packaging it's like snake packaging it's really cool i have this sonia kashuk um eye on neutral matte palette this one i bought it because everybody was raving about it on um youtube back then and i mean it's still the colors are so beautiful but i'm not gonna be using it and this one is a mac quad um, and I bought these are the shadows that I actually used on my wedding So I'm not gonna be giving this away Um, I to be honest, I don't remember the shades that are in here, but it is just a Mac quad. So definitely keeping that I have a contour kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills I think I'm just gonna throw this one away because it's pretty old and I don't think Like my family are not gonna use that one. So this is a Tarte Tardis Pro Glow to go and um as you guys can see, this contour right here was my perfect shade. They never came out with it um, like singles so or in another palette. So I was so bummed about that. But I have two highlighters here that I'm pretty sure uh, my family members can get advantage of that and just use that up. I have some spoolies, which I'm definitely going to be keeping. And then I have tape. <laughs> I have a sauce box palette oh my god i remember when i bought this palette i was as you guys can see that vanilla shade was like so good to me i'm definitely gonna be keeping this because obviously the pants are huge i can definitely use these shades to complement another palette that i'm using this brown right here it's so pretty as well as this cool tone uh grayish brown i really like those so i'm gonna keep this one and then the last palette i have here this is a sleek makeup palette that i divine Mineral Base Eyeshadow Palette, and this is it right here, another colorful palette, as you guys can see, I love me some color, and I've been playing a lot with, um, with colorful eyeshadows, and as you guys can see, the shades are so pretty, it was a little patchy to blend, but overall it was a good palette, I'm gonna be definitely giving this away, because I'm not gonna, and my pile just fell. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and just being with me in this decluttering mode because I have found things that I haven't used in years and I really needed to do a deep clean. So this 
So I'm, so I'm making sure that I'm using this time wisely. Obviously, also just doing some self-care and just taking it slow because we're always on a very fast pace. Um, but I also did want to um, just declutter my space and just feel a little bit renewed. So if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe in the little button down there. My social media is going to be linked down in the description box. And until then, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!